As a woman of color, tell us how colonialized beauty standards have affected you growing up. I was always insecure about the color of my skin. It looks light here because of the lighting, but if you think of Raya from Raya and the Last Dragon, that's what color my skin is closest to. And in freshman year of high school, that's when I started getting into makeup, and I wanted foundation that was a shade or two lighter than my actual skin. So I went to the mall and asked for help on that. And the girl said, why do you want it lighter? And I said, well, I don't like the color of my skin, so I'm trying to lighten it. And she looked so sad for me. I also didn't like my nose. I thought it was big and flat as opposed to sharp noses. And I thought my eyes were pretty boring too. They're a dark brown, but they look pretty black from here. I always thought blue, green, hazel eyes were so beautiful until I came across two poems, one called Brown Eyes by Nadia McGee and an untitled poem by E.H. So that's for my brown eyed beauties out there. Look it up because you won't be disappointed. You will appreciate your brown eyes more. It took me a long time to accept myself and just remember that our differences make us beautiful.